Uh, I have the pleasure to talk to you, to you, cell developers, cell therapy developers, manufacturers, about how we can help you uh, advancing your cell therapies, uh, and this through automation of your manufacturing processes. So, in Terumo BCT, we believe in the potential of blood and cells, and that we can do more with it than it does today. And it inspires our innovations, inspires the collaboration with our customers. We are located in 130 countries. So we, have, uh, empl we are employing 7,000 associates. Our global headquarters is in Denver, Colorado. And we are, in fact, manufacturers of medical and lab devices, um, disposable sets, and solutions in six manufacturing sites across the world. Also, our IND footprint is, is really global, allowing us that we are innovating 24 hours uh, across the clock. We have more than 750 patents uh, filed and more than 150 patents pending uh, for approval. Our parent company, Terumo Corporation, uh, has been founded in 1921 and is listed on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. So, our um, heritage and experience is really in automating processes across a various, uh, seg uh, various segments and in different user settings. Uh, let me give you some examples. And certainly from the area where we have grown together with blood centers and have helped them across the different years to automate their systems and their processes. Uh, we have been changing uh, the way blood is collected automatically uh, with apheresis, collecting any blood component in any uh, combination possible. Also with blood customers, we are transforming whole blood processing, where today, in many cases, this is a very manual, multi-step process, where our platform, Reveos, is allowing to process four bags in one single step. Moving into hospitals, uh, with our platform, the Spectra Optia, we enable efficient collections of mononuclear cells. Uh, these cells include monocytes, uh, dendritic cells, uh, lymphocytes, CD34 plus cells. And we do that in a way that uh, with the highest possible purity, meaning low content of red blood cells, granulocytes, and platelets. Moving more into this space where we are here present on the cell technology, cell therapy technology, we have our quantum, where we are shifting from, or making it possible to shift from a labor-intensive manual tasks associated with um, flask-based cell cultures to an automated uh, method to generate high quality cells in a consistent way. In fact, cell developers, cell researchers, cell manufacturers agree that automation is needed. The question is, when do we do it? How? and what processes are involved. So here, our customer, uh, Rieks Hospitalet uh, in Denmark, is in fact uh, involved and part of a European-based clinical trial working to treat uh, cardiac disease that is currently considered untreatable. It's a um, double-blind study, uh, recruiting 138 patients, in more than six, uh, in six countries in total. And Rieks Hospitalet is in fact uh, the centralized production facility uh, for this five-year clinical trial. They are using quantum and it enables them to grow adipose MSCs, adipose-derived MSCs, to reply to the demand of the clinical study. We expect that the study will terminate in the summer of this year and uh, that uh, the data can be released in the next year, in 2020. So
So customers are coming to us for quality, consistency, and scale. And in fact, um, quality and reproducibility are critically important to you. I've heard that multiple times here at this conference. You want to have control over your process, create efficiency, productivity, and more importantly, and this is in fact coming back to our heritage and understanding of GMPs, which we also can offer uh, to you. Critical questions remain. When is the right time to automate? How to, auto, how to integrate that within your current process? And can all steps be automated? So the needs for automation and your needs evolve uh, as your cell therapies uh, progress, whether you're early in the, in the development stage, early clinical trials, uh, or drive towards commercialization. And as you move more to, towards commercialization, there is a greater need for process robustness, reproducibility, quality, GMP compliance, and certainly not to forget, reducing your cost management and reducing your cost down. The challenge with waiting until you're at very close to the commercialization phase is that um, your can be re, uh, that it can be represented by very high switching costs, mm -hmm. sometimes requiring additional clinical trials. Automating earlier into the process means that you can establish a robust and stable process. And during the early clinical trials, it can allow you to better navigate the regulatory uh, environment and requirements as well as GMP compliance. So cell manufacturing is centered around the patient, whether you have an autologous or an allergenic product. And the user setting different. User settings are different. It starts all with, um, with the collection in this hospital setting, and it ends at the end with infusion in the hospital setting. The cell manufacturers so we offer solution in this full continuum. So we do start, we do have, like I said, the Optia uh, uh, platform where we collect cells. This is in the hospital setting. Then we moved together with the cells into the lab environment, the manufacturing environment, where we have uh, a platform to isolate cells. We can also help you with cell washing concentration. Moving further, uh, uh, downstream towards uh, cell expansion with quantum, and then our latest addition uh, at this point in time, the Finia, to help you with filling and finishing your end product before it gets reinfused into the patient. So, these current platforms we have and the different steps where we, we can help you to automate your processes, we are currently looking into how can we partner with you to develop further our existing platforms and also to develop the next steps and the next generations. Talking to the FINIA, so the newly released FINIA, um, it's really helping you further down, downstream and it took us deep expertise and, and really observing what is really your process bottlenecks and, and we're trying to remove them. Uh, we are automating part of the process and, and we really want to offer flexibility while at the same time also offering consistent uh, products and, and consistent uh, reproducible, reproducible uh, product. It's a functionally closed system, meaning that it can operate as well in uh, your clean room but also outside the clean room. It starts all with when you have your, your cell, collect your, your expanded cells, it all uh, starts with cooling them, mixing it with other media like the cryo, cryopreservative. There's an air removal step. And then 
Um, it's aliquoted in four different bags, of which there are three product bags and one bag for QC. Integration is also of a ceiling of the different uh, bags. And then uh, we are working in that for that with a really sterile, uh, single-use disposable. Within the system, we are working with a cell processing app that is really integrated uh, within your network and also allowing and facilitating uh, electronic record keeping, which is uh, needed for, for your GMP compliance. And also allowing that um, protocol and internal uh, material definitions uh, are downloaded to the FINIA over credentialing and permissions and run records, all, in, all linked to these GMP requirements. We also work with a user-friendly interface to operate easily the machine. As I said, and it's available, as you have seen here on the boot. As I said, partnering uh, with you is really critical, and it's, um, it's bringing us our innovations to cell therapy together, and we really want to talk our existing, to advance our existing processes and also new innovations. These are two of our most recent announcements on partnering. Uh, we do work uh, with Cognate Bioservices, uh, which are present here at the conference, and they are a leading uh, CDMO um, um, partner in, for, in the industry. We are collaborating with us to provide the insights as Cognates is also incorporating our technologies in our, their, in, and our future technologies in, into the company's innovation lab. At the same time, Cognate can be for us a technology reference center uh, and they are working amongst others with the quantum. At the right-hand side, you see a picture of the 2018 inauguration ceremony in Shanghai, uh, in the Shanghai Health Technology and Health Innovation Alliance. You see Mr. Yu Lai, um, CEO of Unicar, explaining how his company uh, is active in the CAR-T space. And they are really pioneering in the industry, in the cancer immunotherapy industry, in, um, they have more than 400 patients benefiting from Unicar's immunotherapeutic products. They are holding more than 30 patients of CAR T cell technology, and it's, they are dedicated to really uh, extending their application uh, further. And you obviously are very well aware China and CAR T cell is an important uh, uh, market. Uh, when you look to all the uh, T cell, T CAR T cell trials in the world, uh, let's say 40% of them are happening in China. So this alliance and partnering with uh, Unicar is very important to us and giving us a nice footprint in China as well with our technologies. So collaboration is really what I, uh, a word would I like to end with. We are expanding beyond our heritage and, and really helping our customers in the blood centers automate and we are ready to, uh, to expand that experience and that heritage into the cell manufacturing world. And we are looking forward to your questions and your, our possibilities to partner with you to further develop our existing technologies and looking to the future ones as well. I thank you for your attention. I don't know if we have five minutes for questions. If there are any in the audience, I'm more than happy to answer them. <laughs>